16-year-old Luke Littler has been making darts history, with some topping him the Pele of darts after a string of truly remarkable wins against some of his own childhood heroes. Last night, he moved a step closer to becoming world darts champion after beating former champ Rob Cross to earn his place in tonight's grand final. Well, joining us now live from the St Helens Darts Academy, which trained Luke as a child, is Talk Today's correspondent Nick Ellaby. Nick, good morning. Look at that. Morning, Rosie. Morning, Jeremy. It's not as easy as it looks, you know, but I have been getting some tips <laughs> from one of Luke Littler's first coaches and mentors at the St Helens Darts Academy up here. Carl Holden is with me at the moment. Um, so, you know, I, I've got a long way to go, Carl, but you had Luke Littler as a nine-year-old. Tell me about Luke at that age. At that age, he had a, a talent at that age. He was unique. Uh, you know, we get lots of kids who have to work really hard to get good at darts. Luke was just naturally good. Uh, coaching him was the easiest thing in the world because within a few months, there was not much you could teach him. He just he was that good at the age of 10. And what, what was he achieving at that age? And also, tell me a bit about his character. What's he like as a guy? What, what gives him that confidence? that's led him to the World Championship final tonight at the Ali Pali. I think when you're that good, you just naturally flow confidence. I think every great sportsman, should we say, does that. And he's just full of confidence, full of ability. He, he knows he can do whatever he wants, basically. You know, and uh, tonight, hopefully, he'll be doing that. Guys, this area here, St Helens, Warrington, it's an absolute hotbed of darts talent. We were at a league match last night, FC St Helens versus the Windle Pub, where Luke has played in the past. And we asked the guys after the match. What makes Luke so special? Here's a clip from last night. He's just such a rhythm player, he's a fast player and he can take legs really easily. He's high scoring, obviously brings the scoring down. And then check out percentage, he's probably one of the best. I reckon he could be the next Phil Taylor. And he, he could be a lot, he, he can possibly win a lot more than, than what Phil Taylor does. He is only 16 and not many people, even when they're older, not many people are that good. He is ridiculously good. He really is a special talent and he deserves the hype he's getting. Oh. Oh. Well, with guys, in the meantime, I've been getting a little bit better. I don't know if, uh, <laughs> if you can see here. I've, uh, I've had a bit Turn of a better Turn the camera around better, better to the effort board. On the board. There you go. Look, not, oh. not, not too bad at all. 135. I don't believe that. What, what does the coach anyway, make of that, so Nick? I've been getting tips off. I, <laughs> I've been getting some great tips off, Carl. Look, around here, there's a lot of competitive factions of uh, rugby league fans, but everybody in this area is behind Luke Littler, and we're going to watch the game later in one of his local pubs. But it's, uh, the Warrington St Helens area is absolutely on fire, and uh, Luke Littler is the talk of the town at the moment here, guys. Nick, I used to be up there for many, many years. Warrington Wolves, of course, famous rugby league team. They, he walked in the other night in his quarter-final uh, to their anthem. Uh, the whole town behind him is extraordinary. I'm not too sure about the camera work. I want to... Can you put the cameraman, please, right, to put his camera right on the board and you throw three darts? Do it right now. Come on, let's see, because there's no <laughs> way right, you're getting 135. Go. Cameraman, stay on the board. Uh, you've got 135 to score. Nick Ellaby up to the OK. Under pressure. Under pre... Oh, uh, oh. Ah. Uh, th one. Oh, 20. Oh, Nick oh. oh. oh a bit, a bit more of a What did he get? <laughs> zoom in, man. Somebody t zoom in, cameraman, so we can see. No, he got 35. 11. No, you're not making it. Uh, Nick, <laughs> it's going to be an amazing 35. night. Uh, do you have any... You know that coach bloke? Can you have a word with him? Rosie and I want some tickets. Can you see if you can pull a couple for us? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Carl, don't worry. Carl, uh, Carl will give you a hand. Tell very Carl if he doesn't here. sort it out, I'm up there. Amazing. Wish everybody the best. We'll come back to you in the next hour, all right? Thanks a lot, Nick. How good's that? Br absolutely brilliant. It's one of those games where... All, obviously, all of us can just have a go. Yep. And once you've had a go, you realise this is really difficult. So, so well, you know, I, I know this sounds ridiculous, but if you look at a, a, a dartboard, everybody goes for treble 20 because treble 20 is, is, is 60, right? Yeah, yeah. The thing about this kid is, he, and I mean kid, he's 16, I could be his granddad. Jeez. Is he can go for treble 19 or treble 18 at the toss of a coin. He is that switched on. And one of them the other day said it's like playing a robot. We want him to win tonight. Uh, if you don't get to watch it on telly, if you're out and about, it's on a sister station, Talk Sport, and more from the St Helens uh, Darts Club, where Luke Littler learns his trade in the next hour on Talk Today.